Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to reset your task manager back to default settings. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, and will apply for Windows 10 and Windows 11 computers. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match, you come back to registry editor, Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you can easily restore it back and creating a backup is very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select File and then Import and then navigate to the same file location. So pretty straightforward. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK Current User folder. Do the same thing now for the Software folder. Same thing for Microsoft, so double click on that. And now you want to go to the Windows folder, so scroll down and then double click on Windows. Should be a Current Version folder in there, double click on that. And now you want to locate the Task Manager folder. Right click on it and select Delete. It's going to ask you, sure, you want to permanently delete this key and all of its subkeys. Select Yes. And then once you are done with that, you just want to go ahead and close out of the Registry Editor. And we're going to proceed to restart our computer at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to reset your task manager settings back to default. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.